we're going to participate in protests on Friday and then we're going to participate in the Women's March on Saturday. Uh, drive down to uh, Washington, D.C. I'll be in Los Angeles marching on Olympic and Broadway at 11 a.m. So I will be in D.C. this coming weekend. And I will protest in Mexico City. My plans for January 20th are to go down to D.C. with Answer Coalition. Not to give Trump more of the attention that he wants. Um, despite this being like a tragic moment uh, for the U.S., I think it's also a moment that is going to um, unify many of us. To fight against Trump and the imperialists and fascists that he supports and is employing in his presidency. We have to come together uh, as leftists, as working class people, as oppressed people um, around the country to fight against the attacks that are sure to come. Not only to protest against the upcoming Trump presidency, uh, but also because of everything that got him to where he is. And I want to be in an environment where I can meet other people who are also um, struggling for the same thing. To continue to fight for a country in which everyone is recognized as fully human, where people aren't shot, deported, denied access to health care, or denied access um, to making choices about their bodies simply because of their identity. I guess I just, it's just all so bad I don't really know what to pinpoint as being the worst. One issue that I'm really concerned about is how the recent pushes for police reform will be continued under the Trump administration. Um, you know, Trump has made it clear that he he's not going to go light on this. Really, Trump is just the face of a much larger uh, enemy and a much larger um, system that we need to be fighting against. The Trump presidency is going to affect all of Americans across the board, whether it's women, uh, women of color, immigrants, workers, you know, we're, we're all going to have to step up and fight back. Um, that's a good question. I hope that going to the inauguration will be really energizing for me. The only way to really resist Trump and effectively stop him is to build a united front based in the working class and the oppressed. We are building uh, coalitions locally uh, here in Cleveland. But after uh, January 20th, I'll be organizing in my community, at my workplace, and my union. I think that everyone is going to be tested by this. The unions are going to have to try new tactics. I think the best way that we can resist the pre Trump presidency is by focusing very much on these uh, grassroots movements and not so much on electoral action as an end-all be-all. You know, we're going to need self-defense and, uh, you know, militant organization. Hopefully more people will become aware that reform is not necessarily the most effective and, and that more people will be open to more radical changes. To fight against Trump, we need the unity of the working class on both sides of the border. This also means maintaining a clear distinction and political independence as a working class from capitalist parties, including the Democrats. We will win if we unite and organize against imperialism, capitalism, and bigotry. Stay strong, people.